Good afternoon. My colleagues and I are strongly committed to bringing inflation back down to our 2 percent goal. We have both the tools we need and the resolve that it will take to restore price stability on behalf of American families and businesses. Price stability is the responsibility of the Federal Reserve and serves as the bedrock of our economy. Without price stability, the economy does not work for anyone. In particular, without price stability, we will not achieve a sustained period of strong labor market conditions that benefit all. Today, the FOMC raised its policy interest rate by three quarters of a percentage point, and we anticipate that ongoing increases will be appropriate. We are moving our policy stance purposefully to a level that will be sufficiently restrictive to return inflation to 2 percent. In addition, we are continuing the process of significantly reducing the size of our balance sheet. I will have more to say about today's monetary policy actions after briefly reviewing economic developments. Um, what will we be looking at, I guess, is your question. So we'll be looking at a few things. First, we'll want to see growth continuing to run below trend. We'll want to see movements in the labor market showing a return to a better balance between supply and demand. And ultimately, we'll want to see clear evidence that inflation is move moving back down uh, to, to 2 percent. So that's what we'll be looking for. Um, in terms of, um, of reducing rates, I think we'd, we'd want to be very confident that inflation is moving back down uh, to, two, to 2 percent before we would consider that. You're right. In, in, the, in the SEP, there is what I would characterize as a relatively modest increase in the unemployment rate from a historical perspective, given the expected de to decline in inflation. Now, why is that? So really, it is, th that is um, what we generally expect, uh, because we see the current situation as um, outside of historical ex experience in a number of ways, and I'll, I'll mention a couple of those. First, and you know these, but first, job openings are incredibly high relative to the number of people looking for work. Uh, it's plausible, I'll say, that job openings could come down significantly, and they, they need to, without as much of an increase in unemployment as has happened in earlier historical episodes. So that's one thing. In addition, in this cycle, uh, longer run inflation expectations are, have generally been fairly well anchored. Uh, I, I, and I've, as I've said, there's no, no basis for complacency there. but. To the extent that uh, continues to be the case, that should make it easier to restore price stability. And I guess the, the third thing I would point to that's different this time is that part of this inflation is caused by this series of supply shocks that we've had, beginning with the pandemic and really with, really with the reopening of the economy, and more recently amplified and added to by Russia's invasion of Ukraine, have all contributed to the sharp increase in inflation. So these are, these are the kinds of events that are not really seen in, in prior business cycles. And in principle, if those things uh, start to get better, and we do see some evidence of the beginnings of that, uh, it's not much more than that, but it's, it's good to see that. Um, for example, commodity prices look like they may have peaked for now. Supply chain disruptions are beginning to resolve. Those developments, if sustained, could help ease the pressures on inflation. So let me just say how much these factors uh, will turn out to really matter in, in, this, in this sequence of events, it remains to be seen. We have always understood that restoring price stability while achieving a relatively modest decline, a rather increase in unemployment and a soft landing would be, would be very challenging. And, and we don't know. No one knows whether this process will lead to a recession or, if so, how significant that recession would be. That's going to depend on uh, how quickly wage and price inflation, inflation pressures come down, whether expectations remain anchored, uh, and whether you know, also do we get more labor supply, which would help as well. In addition, the chances of a soft landing, landing are likely to diminish to the extent that policy needs to be more restrictive or restrictive for longer. Nonetheless, uh, we're committed to getting inflation back down to 2 percent because we think that a failure to restore price stability would mean far greater pain later on.